Anyways, China has an electric vehicle advantage, but can it maintain its edge? There's a lot of things that the Chinese have advantages in. For one, they have access to the raw materials. They have access to cheaper labor. Well, I think most of these Chinese EV manufacturers, they didn't come from the gas car space. They all started from scratch, and they're kind of like Tesla. When you take the big three automakers, they're basically retooling factories, and they're trying to change a gas car over to an EV. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. I'm here today with our founder and chief editor, Bill Moore, is back with us. How's it going, Bill? It's going fine, thank you. Oh, well. Anyways, China has an electric vehicle advantage, but can it maintain its edge? Now, th there's a lot of things that the Chinese have advantages in. For one, they have access to the raw materials. They have access to cheaper labor. They have big industry scale. They've cornered the uh, processing of those things like, you know, lithium and, and uh, turning those materials that make, you know, super magnets, you know, they've cornered the processing of that. So it's just not the raw materials. It's also the supply stream that they've got a, a grasp on. You know, one thing, you know, this isn't Chinese, but let, let's take Tesla. Musk calls his company a technology company that also that it happens to build cars, right? Well, I think most of these Chinese EV manufacturers, they didn't come from the gas car space. They all started from scratch, and they're kind of like Tesla in that they've basically, they've treated it like they were making a phone and putting wheels on it. So what's happened is they've taken a completely different direction, whereas when you take the big three automakers and you take all the Japanese automakers, they're basically retooling factories and they're trying to change a gas car over to an EV, whereas with Tesla, even with the semi-trucks, everything, they've started from the ground up. They started with an EV to give it the capabilities of other types of cars. Uh, yeah, like B BYD, they were a cell phone battery maker. Oh, wow. Okay. And that's, you know, that's a big change. But you look, a couple of the um, Chinese automakers have come from the cell phone space. And, and they started making cars. And it, it's a completely different manufacturing process that they've been able to adopt here. The global auto, auto industry's potential for Chinese automakers should not be overlooked. Well, they're the largest exporter of cars in the world, cars, period. A part of that is because they sell so many gas-powered cars into Russia. Yeah. So Russia is a really big market for them, and, and there's some other big markets for them. Chinese automakers have struggled to find success in mature markets, including the Western Europe and the U.S. Of course, we don't have Chinese autos selling in the U.S. Technically, we do. We Right, right. We've got some that have kind of s snuck in. I mean, we we see the Volvo. Polestar, Volvo, yeah. So EV sell in China for the equivalent of $34,000, lower than the 55000 average in the United States. And we see them keep getting cheaper, right? That's all we see is we see the price on the EVs going down, 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 down. <laughs> yeah. In some cases, that's really good if you're the buyer and not so good if you're the on the investment side. I mean, I noticed a couple of, a couple of, a couple of my stocks went the last couple of days. It's like crashed. So, Well, part of it is I don't know that the average investor understands that the cost of manufacturing the vehicles should be going down. Oh, yeah. That's not saying it's doing that for everybody. Not ever, you know, Lucid's still not there because they've got to get to an economy of scale. Yeah. Have you have you seen the president's comments about how that there are years ahead of Tesla? Oh, no, I did not. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's come out. I forget his name now, but basically the last few days he's been touting that their technology for their drive system is so much more efficient. They're getting five miles per kilowatt, which is dramatically what, I don't know, what is this? Not quite 50% improvement over Tesla, but it's pretty dramatic improvement. So yeah, um, Tesla's, most of them get about three and a half, three and a half miles per kilowatt. That's just his comments. I haven't, haven't verified it, but uh, that's his big selling point right now. And of course, he has one one less competitor now in the world. Of course, you've heard about uh, Fisker had uh, declaring bankruptcy this week. Well, Tata's EVs that they make in India get eight miles per kilowatt. I'm just saying a, a, a lot of that, the miles per kilowatt hour is based on the weight of the vehicle. And so you're adding a lot. And the Tesla's, tend, the Model Y is considered to be the safest vehicle on the planet. 
And I'm sure it has to have some weight to be able to do that. Well, in the way, in the way they've engineered the structure and stuff like that. So, you know. I'm just saying, you know, there, there, there's a difference there between weight versus, you know, weight versus safety, I guess. Let me see. What, our EV study suggests a key factor fueling Chinese EV demand is the confidence consumers have when it comes to how quickly and aggressively these changes are being addressed in China. Well, I mean, most of the Chinese EVs are actually sold in China. Yeah, that's their biggest market. Forty-three percent of EV and tenders say there are not enough places to plug a car in. That number is lower, lower by nearly one third in China. One of the things uh, some of I was reading in China is that uh, most of your light poles now have, if there's a street lamp, it also has an EV charger attached to it. I proposed that idea over a decade ago. I've got two light poles out here. They have a little cover, and I thought all we got to do is just tap into that. But then somebody said. Yeah, but they turn the power off at dawn. Okay, I'm sure that can be fixed. <laughs> There's always something, right? Well, maybe you just charge it at night, right? Yeah, well, yeah, when the street lights are on, charge it at night, yeah. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. Do you have some feedback for us? Please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.